Betty! Man. His name is Sergeant Eddie Miller. We soldiered in the army together. The governor sent me down here to check up on the new patrol along the border, and I find one of our best men murdered. So you look for a lead to the killer of your friend? Yes, but he removed all the traces. He was a smart hombre. When a clever man becomes a criminal, he often becomes very stupid. Yes, but in the meantime, what do I tell the governor? Are we supposed to show our friendship with Mexico by fortifying the entire border? Kit amigo, I'm in no condition to be wise. I've ridden very far and I'm very dry. Is there water? There's the water bucket, but no water. Coffee? It's cold. It's better than nothing. In fact, it's good. Now, who put a rock into his own coffee? The amante in the sergeant's coffee. Captain Miller! Hello, Eddie! Say, Captain Portales, your friend from Mexico! Come in, Captain Portales. I'm Kit Carson, this is my friend, El Toro. Oh, both of you I have heard. A pleasure, senores. Where's our friend, Sergeant Miller? Over there. Looks like he brought in a man for search and questioning. A smuggler, here's the evidence. I found this diamond in his coffee. Where he must have dropped during the struggle. The chair and water bucket proved that there was one. The floor is almost dry. The killer has had several hours to travel with his load of diamonds. A load of diamonds? Package. Otherwise, he would not have overlooked this fine big stone. Senores, we have to deal with an organized ring of diamond smugglers. But no, we find them and we deal with them. Yes, but where do we find them? Hermosa is the only town within a day's travel. There, a, a couple of strangers could learn things more easily than a, an officer in uniform. Senor, would you cooperate with the government of Mexico? Sergeant Miller was a friend of mine. And mine. I will do what is necessary for him. Come on, we'll go in the house and look around. I'll see you in Hermosa. Adios. Eh? A small village, but very famous. For what? The Corrida de Toros. The bullfights. But in such a business, I want no part. Same here. And what else is it famous for? Hermosa is also the residence of La Bella Hermosa de Hermosa. Oh, here we go again. The beauty of Hermosa. The senorita whose charm is famous throughout the entire border. It was to meet her that I wished to come this way. And also to get your face slapped. The role I am not without reputation with the fair sex. Welcome, senores. The house of Rafael Martinez is your house. But according to law, be pleased to sign the register. Senor Carson. I must ask you to check your revolvers with me, according to the law. They should make it compulsory in every town. Senor Carson, your room is number 11. And for your friend, number 13, next door to it. Uh, do me the favor to check your gun and to sign the register. Oh, Ramon, nice to see you. Room three. I hope you will enjoy it. Buenas tardes, señor. El, to El Torero. Señor, señor, un momento. 
permit me to shake your hand. Long have I waited for this meeting. You have succeeded to the fame that I, Rafael Martinez, once enjoyed. Oh, so you are also a ladies' man, eh? My career was most respectable. Uh, but to business, senor. I did not expect you so soon. You come early to inspect the bull? What bull? You are to kill this bull in, in the arena Saturday. I will not kill that bull on Saturday or any other day of the week. Why not? Because I do not approve of fighting the bull. Por qué? Well, it's not kind to the poor animal. Besides, it makes his meat very tough. Then why do you come to Hermosa if not for the Corrida de los Toros? Well, the other attraction of your village, La Hermosa de Hermosa. You could perhaps introduce me to her? I could. Bueno, and could you suggest that she be very kind to a stranger who has traveled so far to meet her? If I wish. Uh, you know her well enough? I am her father. Oh, thank you very much. Congratulations. Uh, uh, I she is very lovely, but heartless where men are concerned. That is what I have taught her. Oh, an excellent way. I approve. Why is darling, Papa? See what I have bought. Everyone is so excited about the bullfight. And look what I'm going to wear. There will be no bullfight. And why not? Because El Torero refuses to fight. Oh, but he must fight. We have invested over 6,000 pesos to bring him to Hermosa. It is no use, Felicia. I have begged him to change his mind, but he still refuses. You mean El Torero is here? In this very hotel, room 13. But why does he come to Hermosa if not to fight the bull? To meet you. Perhaps if I speak to him? I forbid such a modesty. But, Papa! Pancho, bring it over here. Oh, gracias. Pardon, senor. My father sends me with refreshments. You are the senorita Felicia? The same, senor. Coffee from Brazil, tea from China, and chocolate from Mexico. What is your choice? Right now, my mind is on higher things. Oh, hombre mío. You are wonderful. I could even be more wonderful without a fence between us. Soon there will be no fence. When? After you kill the bull on Saturday. Senorita, why should you expect me, of all men, to kill the bull? So you will make me proud? So you will dedicate him to me? No, I'm sorry. Not even for the beauty of Hermosa will I kill any bull. For a man of your experience, have you suddenly lost your courage? No more than the bull, but we have great respect for each other, especially I for him. Por qué? You have the muleta, you wave under his nose and he follows you. You'll have to run very fast. You have the sword to defend yourself. What sword? What cape? I have no such equipment for fighting the bull. So that is what is the matter. It is simple to fix. My father, too, in his day was a great matador. Wait here. Hi, Romeo. How you doing? She kissed me. Sure, she thought you were El Torero, the famous bullfighter. El Torero? El Toro? Now I get it. I smear my name on the hotel register so they can't read it good. So now I have to fight the bulls. That's the size of it. And the end of it. Not quite. You want to help me catch the killer of Sergeant Miller, don't you? Of course I do. Then you'll go on with the game. You go on being El Torero. But what has my being a bullfighter got to do with solving a murder? Because the man who killed Sergeant Miller was also a bullfighter. How do you know? I didn't tell you this back at the cabin, Toro. But the play that killed Sergeant Miller went clear through him. See, that could not be done by a knife or a dagger. No, so it had to be a sword. And the only man that carries such a weapon nowadays is a matador. 
You're right, amigo. I'm sure the diamond smugglers will try to contact El Torero. And instead they meet El Toro. This could be very interesting. <laughs> Pasa, querida. I like you to meet my friend, Kit Carson. This is Felicia Martinez, Kit. A pleasure, senorita. I'll see you later, El Torero. Eh, si, amigo, we understand. These my father wore in the days of his glory. No, oh, but he would not want me to wear them. He would be delighted. Oh, but I'm not worthy to fill his breeches. You are too modest. Please? Your package will be safe, senor. And I will deliver the message to El Torero at once. Senor, only the formally engaged have the right to take such liberties as you take with my daughter. What about the liberties she takes with me? I only came here to offer the matador a loan of these. Senor, this is a matter concerning the honor of my house and my family. Your family? Do you have more daughters? No, but I'm waiting for your decision. Well, uh, I'll think it over. Uh, I'll let you know. And since you do not make a suggestion, I will. Senor, permit me to announce your betrothal to my daughter. I am not a man of endless patience. Will you or will you not marry my daughter? Si, sí, senor. Con mucho gusto. But I will set the date, of course. Don't I have something to say? The wedding date is my privilege. And you will set it for this coming Sunday, the day after the bullfight, in which, of course, the senor will participate. How can I refuse? And now that I have your word, I leave you to your happy anticipations and to the practice of your skill. Come, Felicia. Yes, Papa. Senor El Tolero. What now? I owe you an apology. No, you accept. You should have more confidence in your daughter. I am not speaking of your bride-to-be. I owe you an apology because I forgot to deliver this message. I couldn't help overhearing everything. My sympathy, El Toro. My deepest sympathy in your hour of loss. The loss of my liberty. But you still have a chance. If you don't live through the bullfight, you don't have to marry the girl. What's that? I don't know. Papa Martinez just brought it to me. Open it and let's find out. To address to Senor Martinez himself. It's an order for the delivery of a package now in his safe. Diamonds? He does not mention them. But I am to receive that package only if I call for them alone. Uh -huh. Well, some unknown person keeps an eye on you. I think, amigo, El Torero had better look his part. Aficionados of the bull ring, patrons of the sport, I would speak with you privately. Come with us. Now, you faker, give me that envelope. Why, it is mine. It is for El Torero, whom you certainly are not.
Listen, you have done me the favor to give me back my envelope. How can I? Uh, <laughs> muchas gracias, senor. Captain Botales. He does it. Amigo. At last we have a lead to the killer of Sergeant Miller. Unfortunately, your prisoners are two of my best men. Lieutenant Ortega, Sergeant Carlos. Ay, Remy, what have I done? I'm sorry that this happened. Well, why not go back to Hermosa and try to complete the case? All right, but you'll stand close, won't you? We will be in this vicinity at all times. I tell you, this El Torero is a scamp and a scoundrel. He took advantage of your youth and your innocence. But, Papa, on the contrary, I took advantage of him. And now you talk back to your own father. Go to your room. Senores? Do me the favor to honor this order. By the way, the announcement of your marriage is being recited now. Very nice of you. Is there anything else you wish? No, gracias. Congratulations. Open it up. Mira, almost I would like to get into this business. Thought you wanted to be a bullfighter. When I get around to it, what do we do now? Sit tight and wait for the next break. What is this? El Torero arrives and there is no one to greet me? favor to check your guns with me. El, tor El Torero. The Matador. The senores are from my quadrilla. But, senor, you have already arrived this morning. Mire. So, someone has taken my name this morning. And uh, what else did he do? He became engaged to my daughter. He's a fast worker. Did he by some chance claim a package that was left here for me? He did, by presenting a written order. And where is this imposter? He... There he is now, El Mexicano. I will speak with him. Senor! Senor, what is your name? El Torero, and yours? El Torero, the real El Torero. You have taken a great liberty, Senor Imposter. I should slit your gizzard, but I will overlook the affront. Provided you hand me a, a certain package. The uh, what package? That package bulging in your shirt. Oh, you mean my lunch? Hand me over that package. Senor! <laughs> joke you played on me. Come, let us try to revive him. Senor. 
If they don't fall only on me. Ah, he'll be all right. Felicia, let his friend take care of this faker. Where are the diamonds? It's gone. Where's the other faker? If you mean Senor El Torero, he has gone upstairs. They know too much. We must give them the slip. We'll leave by the window. that killed Sergeant Miller. He had the evidence on him. Now I understand your reasons for keeping up the masquerade. You have caught a thief, but you have cost us the matador for the bullfight Saturday. And 6,000 pesos. Pardon, senor. I overheard what you were saying. Instead of El Torero, why do you not present Juan Ortega? Juan Ortega, the king of the matadors? If only he would honor our humble corrida. But I hear he has put his cape aside to join your army. Oh, that is true, but I would be happy to give Lieutenant Ortega a leave of absence for one day, if he wishes. Senores, Juan Ortega the Matador is at your disposal. Caramba, we are saved. So all ends well. And we can be married, querido. You must admit, Papa, that all through this affair, El Toro has conducted himself as a man of principle. A man of dignity and honor. And of courage, too. A, a worthy son-in-law. But where... where is he? If I know El Toro, he's probably untying his horse right now. Oh, El Toro! El Toro! Mi Dios, I am forsaken. Oh, console yourself, senorita. Oh, gracias, Lieutenant Ortega. 